fine. It is a men's room. What? Yeah. What? You're supposed to be doctors. I've seen your things. You've seen mine. It's all just flesh and cartilage. Get over it. You... April. What? Hey, Jackson. How's it going? Not so good. You? Too? Because mine is a total fiasco. But they think I'm insane. Oh, they're toying with I'm me. I'm self-destructing into a puddle of sweat. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I know exactly what is wrong with me. And I still can't reel it in. I broke my promise to Jesus, and now I can't even talk to him. And, and I need him. He's the only one who can calm me down. How the hell did you do it? Why'd you let me? I don't know. You said it was OK. I know. I knew you'd regret Stop it. Stop yelling. Why are you yelling at me? Because I'm all messed up now, too. I mean, what am I? I'm, I'm, I'm not the guy that made you break your promise to Jesus. I'm not that guy, all right? That guy is gross, okay? It's all very unbecoming, especially for an Avery. What? Are you, are you honestly comparing breaking my promise to Jesus with putting a tiny dent in your family crest? You're right. You're right, and I'm sorry. My mom is the examiner in the room right next to mine. It's throwing me. Oh, God. I know. It's, it's, I'm worried about my mom and what she's going to think if I fail. It's pathetic. Right? No, God, no. Jackson, it's not pathetic. That's the most important relationship in your life. The problem isn't that I broke my promise. That's not the problem. The problem is... The problem is... That it felt good. It felt good. I shouldn't have taken advantage. Taken <laughs> advantage? What? We should, we should go. Take an advantage. I kissed you, remember? Yeah, but I kissed you back. Yeah, but then I unbuttoned your shirt. Yeah, and then I pulled up that skirt. Yeah, but then I kissed your neck. Yeah, and then I took off your shirt. And I, then I unbuckled your belt. And then I slid my hand up your back. I wrapped my arms around your neck. And then I. And you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>